Hey guys, so I've used Notion as a daily tracker for a while now and I thought that I would share my daily tracker with you. Uh, I built a prototype here just to show it, show it and Notion is just perfect to track some of the metrics that I think is really important so that you know that you're working towards your goal. So I wanted to show you the daily tracker database and how I use it. Uh, and how I embed it into my today overview, which is super important and we will talk talk about that in in another video. So in the daily tracker, we have the name, which is the date today and today is 19. So I'm just going to do, let me delete this and start again so I can show you. Um, so I'm just going to fill in as 19th if you 19th of June. Uh, if you're not sure of the date, of course, first we fill in the date here. You know it's 19th. And this is just so I have a name. It's so this date is linked to my weekly overview database. And we'll talk about that in another video. But this is essential so that once you have calculated all your metrics, you wanna you wanna have an overview and look at it at least once a week and see how you're progressing, where are you spending your time, whether you have done enough that week and kind of measure it, measure your days week by week, you know. So um, so I have a connection to the week database and I use star to just highlight which is the current week. So in this case, it's week 25 and that's how I like to, you, you can even use the dates just to uh, the start and end date of the week, but I like to use week 25 as we do here in Sweden. And so 19th, effectiveness. Well, the day is not over yet, but today I've been super productive. So I want to use four stars at least. Uh, but this is something I do at the end of the day. And, but I feel like it's going to be a good day. Let's see. We have the date. This automatically calculates which day it is. Today is a Friday. And how many hours of sleep did I get? And yesterday I know that I slept 7.5 at least. So I'm going to fill in 7.5. And here I have a calculation of what's the average that I've been sleeping. So for now it doesn't matter. But when, when we look at it week by week, this makes a huge difference. So how much of sleep did I get on average this week? And how many did I exercise? Yes, I went to the gym in the morning. What kind of exercise? So this is also, you can have an overview on how many times have you done hit or CrossFit or today I just went to the gym and hit some heavy, hit some heavy back. So I did go to the gym. Did I meditate today? Not yet, not yet. So I'm not gonna fill this in yet. And how many hours of deep work did I do? I did about, two hours of deep work and I worked about two hours on my side project. Um, family time is going to be in the evening so on an average so this shows me on an average what I've been doing. So this is how I like to fill in. I want to keep it super simple. This is the database and it's going to show up since it's today when I look at my today overview it's going to show up there. Uh, I can also fill it directly in my overview where that's usually what I do but I wanted to show you the database. So if we go to let's go here and here you can see what we have just entered is just shown up here. And this is usually where I fill it in to start with. Uh, I don't go to the database, but you know, it's all saved so that I can use it and review it once a month one, uh, or once a week as to see um, how my week is progressing. Um, we will talk about the overview dashboard, today's overview dashboard in, in another video, but this is basically what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you the daily tracker and how it works. So every day, so when, when you have this open, as your day is progressing, you can just keep filling things in. Okay, so have you meditated? How many hours have you spent? So how, how much of time you spent working on your side projects and you can just fill it in and then you have a log in your database and when you go to your database it's always saved and you know what you have done i think this is a super super uh good tool for you to have in your arsenal especially if you're trying to get a lot of things done 
I highly recommend you seeing how you can break down the tasks and use some of my other, uh, some of the task database and the project database that I've we have spoken about in another video. But for now, this is all that I wanted to show. I hope it helps you. Uh, and if you want to know how to build it, you can always comment below and I can do it from scratch. So I'm going to have a description for this so that you can just copy it for free and uh, use it yourself. I'm going to have it in the description below. And if you're interested, check out the Lazy Man's Guide to Productivity. And over there, we talk about how you can be super productive and get all your tasks done. And, um, and I think that having a daily tracker is, is, is a super important tool. So good luck. Hope this helps. And see you in the next one. Thank you.